this will be the basic patching video. Uh, I'm going to do some patches with 10 patch cables and 6 mini jumpers. Uh, that should be what you have. Um, you can see that the image is sort of scrolling right now. That has to do with the shutter speed and the frame rate. Um, so that's just going to be like that. Um, it's not actually scrolling in real life. Um, I cut the battery uh, uh, the battery clip off of this one and I'm just going to use uh, 12 volt center positive power uh, but before I connect that um, I'm just going to connect the sync bus um, the center pin to V-Sync um, because the design flaw when this is plugged in uh, you can't get to the V-Sync so um, one of these V-Sync pins I won't be able to use but um, all of my sync buses are now connected to V-Sync when the jumpers are in the on position, off position, they'll be free running. And I have two H-Sync pins down here that I can patch out. Um, so let me hook this up. Oh, I got three audio jacks here. And the audio jacks are just connected to three channels on a mixing board. So here we go. Um, right away, you can hear some sound. That's the sound of the color bars. Um, so I can turn that to uh, black and then we don't hear anything. Um, right away, I'm going to take two jumpers, put one on oscillator six or oscillator one pot, one on oscillator six pot. Um, now I got three jumpers left. I will take one and connect it to on. So now oscillator one will be connected to V sync. Um, actually, let's connect it to off just to start with, so I can show you what that looks like. Um, then we'll take patch cable. Our first patch cable, very exciting. Oscillator six, or oscillator one, oscillator, oscillator one is be, gonna be connected to red. So now I got some red lines. That's the whole range. If we hit our range switch, now we got a higher range. And if we uh, connect, if we uh, switch out our output cap, we got a different effect on the sound and on the quality of the line. So that's free running, scrolling. Um, we can hook it up to on, and then it will be a little more well behaved. There, it's holding still, wow. Um, we got some lines that are holding still. Um, if we connect this to LDR, then it will still be synced, but the pitch is controlled by the amount of light the LDR gets. A little trick is you can connect the other leg of that jumper to pot and then connect that to the same oscillator and then you can use the pot a little bit to control the range because otherwise it would only be the LDR. So now we got both. So let's just take that off for now. We'll put it back on pot. We've got a nice little well-behaved vertical oscillator because it moves vertically. Whoop, that was a little too much. Okay, now uh, I'm going to take H-Sync from the header and I'm going to sync one of my horizontal oscillators that's going to the center pin. Then I'll take the output of that, oscillator 6, and that's also going to go to red. Cool, and now we got like this um, kind of checkerboard thing, and we can control it with both of these pots. And they're both synced, so they're staying still. Um, right now this is connected to pot, but if we connect it to LDR, it's going to give us a little kind of slippery checkerboard. Ooh, neat. And again, we can control the um, range of, or we can control the uh, pitch of that by the amount of light. Um, that's with the other output cap and the other range. Um, so we'll put that back on pot. 
Nice. We can't hear it because it's in video rate. It's uh, way above the range of our hearing and what the speakers can do. Okay. Well, let me turn that down a little bit. Uh, let's take... We'll get some other colors in there. Let's take Oscillator 2. We'll patch that out to green. Um, right now it's acting crazy because the sync bus is disconnected, so we'll connect that to on. Well, actually, here's an, another technique we can do. Let's disconnect that. We'll take also one of the outputs of Oscillator 1, and we'll connect that to the sync input of Oscillator 2. So now they should be synchronized with each other. So when oscillator two moves, or oscillator one moves, oscillator two also moves. But then two can move independently. And we'll hear some harmonics. And see them. Neat. We got this cool little grid thing going on. Okay, uh, let's take oscillator five. We'll send that out to blue. Um, that's just synced and it shouldn't be. Um, let's sync that to our other H sync pin. Cool, we got some blue in there. And we'll take, uh, or green, I'm sorry. We will take oscillator two also and send one of those outputs to also green. Now we'll send that out to blue. Ooh, now we're getting some color mixing going on. that. I'm going to pull that one. And change the background around too. Um, and see if it's, if it's jumping a little bit. Sometimes you can hit the, the rate button and it will reset and be a little a little different or sometimes a little more well behaved. And that made it worse. Ooh, that's nice. So I've already got a pretty complex patch, and I still have three cables left over and a couple jumpers. Uh, you can see all the way the colors are interacting and mixing. Nice. Cool. Okay, let's put in some more oscillators. I'm going to sync oscillators three and four. Um, I will send some of those outputs. Also, let's see, to blue. Three is going to go to blue. If I can get in there. Yep. And we'll send four out to green. Oh, my dog likes that one. Neat. Oh, he doesn't like it. And why don't we hook this up to LDR just for fun? And we'll hook the pot up to six. Whoa, we got a crazy patch going on. So those are just some basic techniques to get you going. All right. Enjoy.